Good evening, everyone. It's a byproduct of the state's addiction crisis. There are more grand families than in years past. Experts say some grandparents are becoming parents again as their adult children struggle with addiction, forcing grandparents to step in as primary caretakers. WDAY News reporter Ty Philly shares the struggles this generation of grand families faces across the state of North Dakota. How do I get the help to save my family? I'm doing everything I know how to do. This, a question several families posed to Senator Heidi Heitkamp today. Each one has been changed by the addiction crisis North Dakota faces. These people have all become either a foster or adoptive parent for their grandchildren because their biological parents suffer from addiction. PATH is a private child and family services agency and asked several of these grand families to share their stories. What obstacles you're finding? What are you bumping up against? One after another, grandparents shared stories of taking in grandchildren who've seen the unimaginable. Because those kids need such deep therapy yeah. to get that anger, that hurt out. Parental grandparents say they need some financial help. One says she put on 40,000 miles in a year, all while driving her grandchildren to medical appointments. We use um, our resources, you know, we use some of our retirement money and stuff to support them. PATH's director, Nancy McKenzie, says many don't know where to turn for help. Some parents are fans of a navigator system. Navigators are people who can guide first-time foster parents through the process. Could there be a way to fund navigators that could help people not have to do that by tough trial and error? Everybody at the table recognizes answers won't come overnight. They say they do appreciate that they aren't alone during this tough time. Ty Philly, WDAY News. According to the Child Welfare League, there are about 3,500 grand families in North Dakota. The director of PATH says addiction is one of the greatest factors to parents surrendering their children. To our west